I ain't never had a receipt this long. <laughs> what the heck, man? Not every beauty blender color is the same. Ooh, and it's coming up. Did it just break a grenade whistle? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl Kayla Lachey and I am so excited to go ahead and give you guys a beauty haul because it's been so freaking long since I've gone makeup shopping or really went to Sephora and did like a big re-up on literally everything that's been running out on me and they've been doing their sale too so I wanted to pop in and give you guys like my sale must-haves, holy grails, favorites, things that you guys might want to check out while you can get those discounts. I ended up saving 20% off of everything as a VIB Rouge and the sale did start today and I believe it actually goes all the way till the 15th but the lady told me you could only use it one time so you better get everything that you want the first time around. Before we start with that you guys I got a special delivery today also from my friends over at Dacier so big thank you to them for sponsoring this portion of today's haul. It's very on brand with this video too because they make the best fragrances. I actually got a fragrance that was inspired by one of my favorite Dacier scents so I definitely wanted to check out some other ones and they also have now their own original fragrances. So this is their packaging for their candles which I think is really minimal, super cute and they're very big candles too i feel like they definitely last a lot longer than some of my other ones this one is the floral marshmallow scent also inspired by one of my go-to fragrances which is the killian love don't be shy which is a very sweet like really sweet marshmallow scent and this is just perfect for your spa days in your bathroom when you want to have a cozy little bubble bath or unwind for the night so i love their packaging and again this is a two wick candle it's very sweet like you don't even have to burn this to smell how amazing it is it has marshmallow bergamot orange blossom honeysuckle jasmine oris amber vanilla and musk so if you don't like sweet scents probably best to avoid this but this fragrance is said to be rihanna's favorite and then i also picked up one of their dossier fragrances this one is one that I wanted to try for a long time. I actually went to Sephora and I was looking at some fragrances and I love the bottle of this one and it is the YSL Libre Eau de Parfum and it's 15% concentrate. I just don't know if it's going to work with my body chemistry. I see it pinned on Pinterest all day long. I feel like it's a lot of girls like go to fragrance and I would love to love it, but I couldn't commit. I really couldn't commit to the real one at Sephora, so I went for the Dossier version which has mandarin, black currant, my dogs. <laughs> Jasmine, lavender, orange blossom, vanilla, amber, and musks. So like the base notes are definitely my vibe. Vanilla, amber, and musk. Um, I don't know about the lavender and orange blossom though. Love jasmine as a middle note. And then mandarin and black currant. So it's definitely giving like fruity. So yeah, Dossier just does such a good variety of the most popular, most loved luxury fragrances but you can get them for like $29, $39, $49 and then use my code Kayla5 to get some savings. Okay I'm a warm gourmand girl. This one is definitely fruity. It kind of has a powdery. Hold out now. I love just trying new scents. So yeah I'm gonna use this one and see how I like it. It's definitely giving me nighttime sophisticated, like I'm getting dressed, I'm slicking my hair back, I'm going out tonight. I don't know, it kind of has a warmth to it. I should have smelled the real one in the store. I looked at it though, the bottle. It's like, ooh, that'd be really cute to put on display. <laughs> but I don't know about that price tag. So we're going to try this one. It's really nice, but I don't know if it's my type of scent. Like, I have a very specific type of fragrance that I lean towards, and it's Warm Gourmands. But then I'm like, girl, you should branch out into different categories of fragrances. Everything tends to smell the same, so it would be nice to kind of branch out and get something a little bit more fruity and, like, fresh, but still, like, nighttime and not, like, frou-frou for the day. I don't know. 
I'm gonna let this one grow on me and check back in with you girls. And then Dossier also came out with their original fragrance line and this is a genderless collection. So a lot of their scents are unisex already on the website. This one is the Sunny Vetiver and Neroli and it has top notes of bergamot, grapefruit, and neroli. Base notes of vetiver, patchouli, and cedarwood. I love woody scents as well woody scents borderline masculine scents like the ouds and smoky fragrances i'm on the hunt for a good smoky scent so let me know if you have any recommendations oh what is that it got on my lip <laughs> what is that that i'm smelling i don't know if i like this one i have to keep it a hundred cannot put my hand on it it kind of reminds me of a Moscow Mule. You know how they have like that very distinct smell and taste? It kind of smells like the taste of <laughs> a Moscow Mule, which is not my fave. So I could definitely see this being like a masculine fragrance of like a hardworking man like your dad or something or a grandpa. I don't know. I'm, I'm not a fan of this one. It almost has a weird smoky but not like a sweet smoky scent. Definitely giving me masculine. I don't love that on me. Definitely gonna have to favor the YSL dupe for that haul. The other one is very unique and I don't think I've ever smelled a fragrance like that one. So if you guys are interested in checking out Dossier, I will be linking them in the description box. And of course, don't forget to use the discount code Kayla5 to save at checkout. You can do bundle deals and free shipping as well, which we love. So let's get into this Sephora haul, girl. I ain't never had a receipt this long. <laughs> what the heck, man? I love stocking up on my favorite skincare staples, especially when they're discounted because skincare is expensive. So I use the Ula Henriksen Truth Juice Cleanser. Mine is about a third full right now, so perfect time to snag this. It is the best at removing my makeup, even mascara and brows. And I don't use makeup remover or wipes, none of that, because this is amazing and it's great for my acne prone skin. So definitely had to run and snatch that while it was discounted. And also another holy grail, if you guys watch any of my hair content, you know that I love a good detox, aka clarifying shampoo. This one from Way is literally the best. I've repurchased it so many times, even got the travel size ones. Um, when I needed them for on the go, but this one has like apple cider vinegar in it So it leaves my curls and my strands squeaky clean So it's ideal for me to remove product buildup sweat dead skin cells all that yucky stuff and having a fresh slate For my deep conditioner to kind of penetrate better and my products to actually work better So I highly recommend this one and honestly it lasts for forever because this is not a daily cleanser for me So how to stock up? <sighs> Girl had to close the blinds downstairs because these dogs don't know how to act when people walk by. <laughs> and now I'm out of breath trying to spray it up the stairs. I got my face primer. This one is the Ula Henriksen one, which I love because a lot of makeup primers have just broken out my skin. I think it's probably because they're like silicone based. This one is a skincare brand, so... Honestly, it works the best and it has a little bit of a glow. It's the Banana Bright. Wow, I'm really out of breath. <laughs> the Banana Bright Face Primer with Vitamin C. I just love this line and it works the best for me. And it doesn't make me feel like my pores are like clogged and it just wears really well. I'm really out of breath and I, I went to the gym literally today. <laughs> Also, I re-upped on one of my favorite little powder puffs. This is what I like to use with my loose powders to set my face and really like press it in. I feel like whenever I use like powder brushes to set my face, it ends up looking splotchy and kind of textured. I don't know. So I've always used this. My last one, oh my gosh, I've washed it. Like I wash it the same way that I wash my brushes and like my beauty blender. So it's definitely reusable and I'll definitely link you guys to this. I feel like mine lasted so long that this one looks a little bit different like more plush or maybe because mine is just so old. 
So this is what I like to just press in my powder. Every time I go to Sephora and there's a sale, I think getting a beauty blender is always a good idea because they can get really gross. And I guess you're supposed to replace them every month. Who does that? Please comment below and let me know if you're one of the girls that actually buys a new one every month. I don't know. I know it hoards a lot of bacteria. but And the pink beauty blender is the best beauty blender. Don't tell me anything differently. I have tried like the black one, the nude one, those fun kits that come out during like the holiday season for the value. They don't work the same. Not every beauty blender color is the same. Argue with anyone else other than me because this one is literally the only one that works for me. I feel like the other ones crumble apart. And they just don't work the same. I also ended up grabbing another re-up on the Banana Bread Huda Beauty powder. This powder replaced the Laura Mercier translucent powder that I used to use. And I just, first of all, it's scented. So I think I like that and it doesn't like irritate my skin. But it's very fine, like the middle of the powder. So it just goes on effortlessly. I also really like the packaging of this one. It's called the Easy Bake Loose Baking Plus Setting Powder. So I definitely wanted to snatch this. They come in so many different colors, which I love. There's a lot of variety there. And I've honestly repurchased this also so many times. I can't even open up the box. I tried to do it gracefully, but yeah, so this is what it looks like. I feel like a lot of girls love this too. And a little bit of this goes a very long way and it lasts so long. Like I barely ever remember going to buy more because you don't need that much. So, and it doesn't oxidize my foundation too. This as well was another holy grail of mine. It is the Benefit Precisely My Brow uh, Pencil. They have definitely repackaged this since my last one. It almost looks smaller of a tip. So I don't know how that's going to work for me. I'm such a creature of habit. I don't like when brands update formulas and change packaging or application. I know that like NARS just reformulated all of their blushes to be like talc free. So I was like, dang, because I really like the ones that I have now. And I'm just kind of curious to know how they work if there's any noticeable change so i left those at the store you guys can let me know but i did get this brow pencil in warm deep brown number four and it looks shorter so it has a dual end one oh my god it is smaller i don't know how i feel like it was literally perfect there's a spoolie side and then the tip I don't like to sharpen my brow pencils, but this is a very fine, you can even see it. It's smaller than like a pencil or like a pen. I don't know. It's very, very precise. Like, ooh, and it's coming up. Did it just break the ghetto? This is going back to the store. What the hell? I don't know. I just feel like if you press too hard on this one, it's going to snap. So I'm going to test this out and see how I like it. Let me know if you guys have any good brow products. I don't know. I might have to try something else because I didn't realize how tiny the point is. So let me know if you guys have any good automatic brow pencils. Maybe I should have checked out Anastasia. I don't know. I just don't like when brands change things up. My go-to holy grail does not irritate or trigger my acne at all is the Sunday Riley CEO Vitamin C Rich hydration cream i have very dry skin and i like thick creamy moisturizers for day and night i cannot do gel based anything i feel like it makes my skin more dry and very itchy so this is so freaking good it smells amazing and it is definitely worth the price tag i haven't really tried too much from this brand but this is such a holy grail i don't have scissors here to open it but my current one is almost out. I probably have a few more days left. So I definitely wanted to snatch this since it is more pricey with the discount. Wow, I got a lot of stuff. This is another, the heck, another favorite. Everybody I feel like has this, uses it, raves about it because it is that good. It definitely got me through the winter with the dry cracked lips. I never really had any extreme dryness because I use this as a daily like lip balm. I'll put it on constantly, even though it is a lip sleeping mask. I feel like they should rebrand this as a lip balm. Let me know if you girls use this as like a lip balm instead of just right before bed. I don't know. But 
but this one is in the vanilla and I don't even know it came with an applicator I definitely don't use that but I love this first of all the packaging is everything they all taste so good they have a cotton candy one I wanted to pick up but I didn't know if I would like it because I just finished a strawberry one and I'm almost out of my vanilla and I was like oh which one should I buy but I realized the strawberry one was like a limited holiday set which tells me that I definitely got my use out of it I want to say I bought it around Black Friday last year like it lasts me so freaking long so these are definitely worth the price point they have a berry set as well and another one I think it's like purple but either way I think they're all really great they're extremely hydrating and moisturizing and they look great on your bedside table so I just love these you get a lot of products I can't even remember how much it was but girl get it on the sale <laughs> Also, I was running out of my body scrub. You guys know I love whey products. They're St. Bart's. Oh my gosh, it is my favorite scent, I think, out of everything that they have. I love Melrose, but this one, it, I don't know, I'm a summer baby, so it reminds me of like the beach, sunscreen, vacation vibes. Like they do their body wash in this fragrance, as well as a body butter. And the scrub is just so good. I have very dry skin, like on my legs, like patches. I have eczema prone skin too. So I need a good exfoliator. And this one is very gentle, yet it doesn't just like disappear in the water. I don't know. I've used some scrubs that almost disintegrate and they don't really be scrubbing, but they're not so abrasive. It's like the perfect consistency. But the fragrance of this, oh my God. Self-care Sunday vibes. Like I probably use this once a week. I would love to use it more, but she's like $40. <laughs> Get on the sale. Get on the sale. And for summer coming up, like girl, they also have this in a travel size as well. So if you want to try it before you commit, although I feel like you're going to fall in love. This is just such a good staple. And the last and final purchase is a fragrance, you guys. I thought they left um, a security tag on here for a second. I was going to panic. But this scent I was actually introduced to from Dossier because, again, they just be putting me on to all these amazing luxury fragrances. This one is actually like a more... Um, I would say a more intense version of the Dossier one that I tried, and it's the Victor and Rolf Flower Bomb Ruby Orchid Eau de Parfum. So this one to me has a longer lasting power compared to the original Flower Bomb. And I love Flower Bomb, but I just feel like I can't really smell it on me. Like, I don't know, it doesn't have a lot of projection to it. I can smell it maybe like when I spray it. Like when I'm going about my business and doing whatever throughout the day, I don't really smell the fragrance again. So I have to go reapply, reapply, and then use a lot. So I was going through my flower bomb very quickly. So I was like, let me try a different version because I love how it smells. It's definitely my signature scent, but girl, it needs to be stronger. I like strong fragrances. So... I did test this one in the store and I had it on my skin before I went to the gym. I was in the sauna, 212 degrees. I could still smell it like at least an hour and a half later. So that was a really good sign. But I love the packaging of these fragrances. This comes in a five ounce bottle. So I'm like, oh, I would love to buy that. It's like a grenade. <laughs> a grenade whistle. It is so sexy in this particular fragrance. Like... I don't know something about it it's just everything so dossier gotta put you onto all the fragrances that's all I why is everything breaking on me today because you're not about to play with me don't do that don't do that oh my gosh it's just a warm gourmand sweet sexy juicy like i don't know like it just gives me like a juicy fruit not a juicy fruit gum but like I don't even like it I don't even know well, let me go online because I feel like Sephora can explain this a little bit better than I can this one is retailing for hundred and eighty dollars for the three ounce bottle it's described to be a warm floral scent which I love I'm not a big floral girly but if it has a warm sweetness to it I'm obsessed keynotes include vine peach ruby orchid bourbon vanilla it's the vanilla that gives it that cozy sexy just like seductive set in my opinion and then it also has two accords which is ruby orchid and red bean vanilla giving the fragrance 
a sensual, sensual, that's the word I was looking for, a sensual, sexy, seductive fragrance that's warm and cuddly and inviting and just like, give me a hug. Like, you know those boys in high school, they're always like, girl, where my hug at? <laughs> It's giving that energy in like the best way possible, uh, but it's a ruby pink diamond grenade fragrance bottle that unleashes a captivating floral fantasy. Yes, that's exactly what I'm getting from it. A carnival scent fit for femme fatale. So I just love the description of this. Flower Bomb will always be like one of my favorite scents. I don't know. It's it is just such a loved fragrance and I see exactly why. They also do the Flower Bomb um, Nectar and I believe that one truly is the more intense version of the original Flower Bomb. But I wanted to go for this one because I fell in love with it when I was smelling it in the store. And also I just read the description before going shopping and I was like, ooh, that sounds like such a good Kayla scent. So definitely recommend smelling this one or if you're unsure about the fragrance as a whole, cause they are pretty similar, definitely recommend going for the dossier version. I'll put it here. And that way you can kind of wear it and see how it works with your body chemistry and see if you like it before committing to like a $180 bottle. But I'm sure this is going to be a very loved one in my collection and it's very suiting for springtime. I think this one is very good for daytime and nighttime. I guess it depends on like your fragrance profile preferences, but for me, this is definitely a scent that I can see myself wearing daytime, nighttime, date night, whatever, even the gym. I wear Flower Bomb to the gym and it mixes very well with other things, specifically Burberry Her. That combo, girl, it is the combo. It's a very good layerable scent for sure so yeah that's pretty much all the things that I have to show you guys from the Sephora sale definitely worth picking up your favorite holy grails your staples and stocking up while you can save so again I'll link my faves down below and the sale ends like I said till the 15th and you can only use it once so baby make your list don't be wasting that discount, please. Okay, like when the lady told me that, I was like, oh my God. She was like, do you want to get anything else? I said, ma'am, you see how much stuff I'm coming to the checkout. What do you think? <laughs> please, I spent a pretty, pretty penny. How much I spent? $436, but you know what gets me? It says that I saved $103, so that made me feel better. <laughs> Yeah, girls, if you guys enjoy videos like this, definitely give it a big thumbs up. It really helps to support me on my YouTube channel. And also don't forget to subscribe if you guys are new. I want to be doing a lot more beauty videos now that we're transitioning, you know, out of winter finally. And give you guys some good routines, some curly hair content, and all that kind of stuff. So drop a comment down below and let me know what you guys would like to see next. And I will catch you girls in my next video very soon. Bye!